Today we will be creating a one point perspective city within a circle. If you have a compass, use it, but if you're like me and you do not, you could use a plate or an embroidery circle. A ruler becomes your best friend. And here you can see the vanishing point. That center dot is a vanishing point which all vertical measurements must refer back to. I have created this very simple demonstration using Posca marker because as you can see here, when I use pencil to draw all my buildings, they're not so visible on video. So I sped this section up and I am going to slow down the section where I go over all these buildings with a 0.5 and a 0.05 fine liner marker. So, all windows and doors need to align with your vanishing point. Use your ruler to assist with these marker lines. All horizontal lines will need to follow the curves of your circles. I have included a wide variety of architecture here, both modern and classical buildings. I find the contrast of the new and old make the design and composition much more interesting. I used the thicker fine liner to outline the buildings and the windows, whilst I used the finer one, which is the 0.05, to pop the details into the building. So I used the fine liner for tiles, for brickwork, for curtain work, any of those details. Now I get a bit distracted, so to pique my interest, I often work on numerous buildings at the same time. I feel that that helps keep me focused. Now at this stage you could be finished, but I've decided to have a play around with some ink colours. I really want to include the sky and I'm looking at colouring the background and mixing my purples and blues together to create a beautiful effect. You could use watercolours for a similar effect or if you are interested in bold colours which don't blend so much maybe you could use some acrylics or maybe some markers. It really is up to you but the work is finished even if you don't use colours. This has been one of the most satisfying drawings I have completed in a while. Enjoy!